if you want to create thumbnails like this this and this keep watching this video because i'm going to give you guys a step-by-step -step tutorial on how i create my thumbnails using photoshop before i start this video 90 percent of my viewers are not subscribed so if you want me to make more tutorials on how i edit and create thumbnails then make sure to subscribe turn on post notifications also i'd really appreciate it if you guys could check out my channel because i make a lot of different r6 content such as tips on how to improve news and leaks montages and editing tutorials so first you want to load up Rainbow Six Siege so you can create the image that you want for your thumbnail you can do this on PC and console the only difference is on PC you can change the graphic settings to make it just a little bit higher quality but that's the only real difference so first click settings options and then go to graphics if you're on PC turn this to ultra if you can if your PC can't handle it then you can go medium high very high but I'm just gonna go ultra then go to general interface preferences and you want to turn off everything off now click create custom games click create local and then you want to create a new playlist play on tactical realism and you can name whatever you want now you pick which map you want now go to game mode settings and you just want to turn it down to the lowest for the preparation phase and action phase to the highest just so you have some more time to create a thumbnail click save playlist and then just enter you can pick any operator you want but i'm picking ace just because i got black eyes on this gun and then you just want to go to wherever you want on the map to create the thumbnail i'm probably gonna go to the roof so and then now you just create it wherever you like so you can either shoot to reload so you can create like this with a, so you're reloading in the thumbnail or you can just lean a certain way, look to the sky, whichever you like. Just you sit here, have some time to create a pose. Once you've created the pose, then you want to go into Photoshop. Once you've loaded into Photoshop, you click create new, and then you want to make the width 2560 and then the height 1440. Click create. Now you want to import the screenshot of the poses you just did. So this is the pose that I got. Now I just want to zoom in a little. Next, I want to rasterize the layer, so I'm going to right click on the layer right here and click rasterize layer. Now I want to remove these, so I'm going to click the stamp tool and what it does basically, wherever you click it will clone. So if I right click here, it will draw that, you know, there, so if you right click here, you can just remove it, so that's what I'm just going to do right now. Now, the selection tool right here, the quick selection tool, and select everything else but the gun and the hand. So once I've selected it, I want to go to filter, blur, box blur, and change the radius to about 5. You can also play about with these if you want it a bit more blurry then just increase it. Go back to blur, motion blur, I put this to about, let me put 25. Now as you can see I've selected everything, this does look pretty good to me, you could just leave it like this and then add the text, but I'm going to show you guys how to change the colours. So if you wanted to make it black and white, you go to image adjustments then black and white. If you want to make it a different colour, go to image adjustments hue and saturation you can change the colors from here i might go for i might go for a bit of a yellowy color you can also go to image adjustments and then color balance so to increase certain colors like the the midtone the shadows uh, the highlights so you just want to play about with this and see what you like best Now, if you want to change the color of the gun, click Control Shift I, which inverses the select onto the gun. So I've changed it to this, and this is what I like. So what I'm going to do now is click Filter, Sharpen, and then Sharpen it. 
Now we're gonna go over to After Effects. Once you're in After Effects, drag your image into After Effects. Then drag it into this to bring it into the timeline. And then now you just wanna add the saber effect just like I did in my last editing video. Press G and then you just wanna go around and mask every bit of it. So now I've finished the mask, I'm gonna go to Effect, Video Copilot, Saber. Now, go to Render Settings, change this to Add, go to Customize Core, change what it says from Saber to Layer Mask. Now, click this little thing right here to remove the mask, you can add it back on if you want, if you need to change your mask. Now, you can pick whichever effect you want. So I'm gonna go for I think this energized one because this looks pretty good it does look a bit too much here so i might just remove some mask layers from here so if i go back to my mask i might just remove some layers so that looks much better to me now you just want to shorten this so when you're rendering it's not so long so lower that down right click trim and now press ctrl m click here change avi to Photoshop sequence, press OK and then just render. Once it's rendered, you want to go back onto Photoshop and then just drag it in. So as you can see, we added the saber effect. So, so far this thumbnail does look very good to me. Now you just want to add your text, so press T. And then you just title it, whatever the video is called. So I've spent some time, I've changed it. So this is what I've came up with. And I like this much better than what I did before. So I'm just gonna stick with it. To export again, you just press Control Alt W. And then you can export it again. If you guys want more videos on how I create my thumbnails, if you guys want like a specific thumbnail on how I created it, like my last montage, I can create that for you guys if you guys want any other type of videos then just comment down below leave a like links to my twitch twitter and discord down below and i'll see you guys next time